Are you high? I just want to know. I'm currently um, running Ubuntu, uh, which is Linux. And uh, I have Mozilla Firefox, Mozilla Thunderbird, World of Warcraft all running at once right now. I can also run Diablo 1 and StarCraft at the same time with no lag on a gig of RAM and a dual core processor, basic E1. I could grab. Let's see. Here, here's Quake 2. I can use Quake 2. I could play Quake 2 right now on here if I wanted to. Uh, I'm currently try booting Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Windows Vista Home Premium 32 bit edition. As soon as I get Mac OS X Leopard, that Vista partition is going to get fucking right, wiped out, and annihilated for good to put Mac on. At least that was my original plan, but it turns out I have an AMD architecture so I couldn't run Mac on here. So in that case, I'm getting a Mac Mini. I'm going to put out my uh, uh, monitor splitter so I can just use one monitor, one keyboard, one mouse set up with two computers because I actually know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, and I don't think you've ever used Linux because uh, Ubuntu here came default with a browser, the ability to play music, videos, came with a few games, came with uh, pretty much everything the basic user needs. It was a little tiny bit of work that takes me about an hour if I want to get all the stuff I have right now just because of the install time. And I, I, and if I started completely blank with just an internet connection and a computer with the requirements to run Linux at maximum capacity, uh, and I was given a Ubuntu disk, I could have uh, everything up in an hour. I would have Ubuntu installed within 30-ish minutes. And then I would have configured everything to have a desktop cube and be running games, etc. With no problem. In under an hour. And at no point would have crashed. No crashing ever happens for me. I've had one thing crash. And it was a Windows program I was running on one. That was World of Warcraft. And that was because I was running a lot of things at that point in time and recording. And I shouldn't have been recording while running World of Warcraft at the same time. It kind of was too much for my RAM. I, I mean... Linux is great, but if your machine's not powerful enough, you can't do certain things, obviously. Now, once I get another gig of RAM, I should be able to record while runs running at, while I was running at the same time. And by the way, that crash was not even that bad. My recorder crashed and WoW crashed, and that's all it crashed. I just force quitted them, and I could open WoW right back up, or my recorder right back up. And I recovered the crash within three minutes, didn't have to restart my computer or anything. Nothing was hurt. I've not gotten a single virus because there are no viruses for Linux. I have awesome things like a dock. I have my widgets, which I use a lot. I, multiple desktops, which is useful for me because I like to multitask. I have my different forms of Windows switching. I set to my extra mouse buttons. Like right now, I just put everything on expose by pressing one mouse button. Listen. In fact, let me show you. An idea. I ain't got to, I have something tells me I should prove it. Do, 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 do. Game. No, wait, no, it's a mine. Programs. Let's run. World of Warcraft. And three, two, one. It's the recording. No way, that's because I'm also installing things. I need to put it in the desk. That can wait. Oh, there it is. World of Warcraft. Play. Hmm. I'm gonna play with my widgets while that's doing that. Let me get rid of this text here because that was from my last recording. Ah, 
I'll clear that off later. Alright. They bring up World of Warcraft. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's running. Ooh, it's running. With no problem. And how did I put it on here, you ask? What the hell's my disc? But what? I was gonna bring out the disc for lols, but I just put the disc in the damn thing and installed it with Wine. Well, actually, Wine already took that shit over and acted like I was right on Windows, and I installed it, like usual, with absolutely no problem. You've obviously never used Linux. I'd recommend you take down this video before you get more ownage than usual shoved down your throat because you look like a noobish jackass for thinking you could just lie about Linux and not expect the real Linux users to come along and just own you in the face. Here, let me just get this install going. I just need to put my Ubuntu disk in. My Ubuntu disk. Right in the drive. As if I was using Windows, but it doesn't crash. If it doesn't work, it just means I need to get the new CD. Which is no problem, I can download the ISO from the website. Yep, I need to go get the new ISO. I have the old one. That's no problem. So, it just rescans. All I need to do... Just go to the website and get the new ISO and burn that, and then I can get everything again. No problem. I just have the way old, well, not way old, but they recently had an update to a new version of Ubuntu. I need to get that disk. But that's a minor issue. I've had a weird disk issue like this on Windows. You could just go and download the ISO from their website. You have to buy a whole new disk or something. You would have to. It, it's just the way they work. And Ubuntu, you can just go download the ISO and you're fine. Not a problem. Not even one minor problem. That's like the worst problem I've ever... This, what you just witnessed, that is the most problematic thing I've had happen to me ever on Linux. And let me put this thing over here. I just woke up and uh, saw this. I was looking through Samuel Tech Geeks videos and saw your reply to this. And I tried to watch this with some German maid in the background and your picture thing or whatever you're trying to do with this video. And it annoys me because it's just absolutely retarded. I mean, well, fuck. I can't even come up with words for this. Well, I'm just going to end the recording now. Go download the new ISO, which will take no time. It'll take about 10 minutes. Burn it to this DVD. Right now, I'm going to shove that bastard in there. And. I will have a new video editor. Yeah, this is version 8.04. The version out right now is 8.04.1. Windows programs will be even easier to run soon on the next kernel. Kernel 2.8. Right now we got kernel 2.6, blah, 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 blah. There's lots of numbers after that. But the next major kernel type, 2.8 Linux kernel, will run any Windows program. So, any of your points about how hard it could be to run a Windows program will be invalidated. Not long for now. Most of your argument is fallacious because you obviously have never used Linux, so, because half this shit makes it sound like you're running a DOS computer. Nothing else but DOS on the damn thing. Which no one's done for years. Why would Linux be like that? No one's that stupid. Uh, apparently you are though. So go off in your stupid land and 